All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a metallic FM style plucked instrument sound. So again, I'm starting with a pretty basic sound. So it's a pulse shape, pulse width right in the center, so we get a square shape. Mix all the way down, cut off all the way open, resonance down, no filter modulation, no attack, sustain up, and decay about the halfway mark. Let's hear this with my sequence. I'll speed the tempo up a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the sustain off. So we're already getting a plucked type amplitude envelope. I'm gonna move the pulse width a bit down. So now it starts to sound a bit more like a string instrument. We're adding in some even harmonics there. I'll tighten up that decay a bit more. Makes it more plucky. Okay, let's bring the cutoff down and bring in the filter cutoff modulation. The source is set to envelope generator, so the envelope over here is being used to modulate the filter cutoff. Okay, so this is a pretty decent sound we have right now, but we now need to make it a bit more metallic. The first thing we're going to add here is some pulse width modulation via the LFO. So I'll set the source here to LFO and destination to pulse width. I'm also going to make sure the LFO is pretty fast. Now with the VCO mod amount up, you can hear that. Let's now speed up that LFO all the way up to audio rate. Now we don't really hear modulation, but we're hearing a new timbre. If the VCO mod is all the way up, we completely lose the fundamental frequency, and it's a very dissonant sound. But toning that down a bit will help you hear the melodic sequence that we are running. So it's just a matter of taste setting this LFO rate and the VCO mod amount and finding a nice balance between dissonant and harmonic. Okay, and I also want this LFO to modulate the frequency. For this, we will need to do some patching. So I'll take the LFO square output and plug that to the mix too. And take the VC mix out and plug that to the VCO Linear FM. The reason I use the VC mix is so that I have control over this modulation. So now with the VC mix style, I can slowly bring that in. Let's increase that DK just a wee bit. Actually, let's turn off that VCO mod amount. So we just listen to the frequency modulation. And now you start to hear a really interesting FM style timbre. Now just like the pulse width modulation, you can play with the LFO rate, as well as the VC mix, which is acting like a modulation amount. I'm gonna bring back the pulse width modulation by increasing that VCO mod amount as well. Now to make this a bit more musical, we can take the keyboard CV out and plug that to the VCF cutoff, so higher notes are brighter and lower notes are darker. You can play around with the pulse width dial to set an offset value. It changes the timbre quite drastically. You can play with the cutoff value. A lot of variations on this timbre you can get. Now this is the kind of sound that would sound pretty interesting with some reverb, so I'll bring in some.
This is just a standard reverb from Ableton Live. Cool, so that's our FM style metallic dissonant plug sound. <laughs> 